Yes, yes, yes. Um, I got a new piece. Actually, that's why um, I brought a little some some. And I actually wrote it because uh, Illiteracy and I were um, actually in Virginia Tech just a couple of weeks ago. Um, a week after, yeah, it was a week after the shootings, which was really crazy because the gig had been um, set a couple of months before, but it just so happened that the time that we were going there um, was a week after. And with um, the already kind of... Um, kind of the, the racial tension that already exists in Virginia, I was admittedly, like, pretty, like, kind of nervous about going there, considering the circumstances. Um, so I wrote that for, I wrote this piece um, for that. So, yeah, all right, cool, all right. <clears throat> I want to write for me, for everybody, who ask themselves why they are going through this, because sometimes I decide I cannot be strong enough for myself, but just maybe. There is someone who will need me, so I am trying. I do not know when it will be okay, but I know that we must be here for something. If we place our hands to chest, we'll feel proof that there is love, that we are alive, we are still standing. So this, it's for Virginia. For the day the news bled across my computer screen, headlines as if it were a bar from a horror movie, they used words like massacre. I imagined scenes from a Tarantino film reenacted on a campus in shock. In my head, I heard a collision of gunshots, sirens, ambulance, static and panic crackling on police radio, hard boots and black armor thudding against concrete. That day, I wondered, if fear tasted like metal. There was a different headline by the hour. The media was quick, the internet even faster. By 7 p.m., Wikipedia had placed Texas as third, Columbine as second, Virginia as first. The nation held their breath until authorities identified the shooter. The next day, they released his picture. Pause, my hand to chest. He was Asian with a face that from a distance could look like one of my family members, his name attached to an introduction label South Korean, not American, but South Korean. The day before I heard he was Chinese, today South Korean, anything but American, even though he was raised here. And I remember September 11th. Would anyone with resemblance to his face be labeled as the enemy because his face could resemble one of my family members from a distance? Apologies from South Korea. He was still American, but the country that raised him will not claim him. So my heart breaks for Virginia, for candlelight vigils, for torn flowers, for sharp questions that can't be rounded by answers for aftermath. My heart breaks not because I am Filipina or Asian, but because I am human. So this voice is for the silence that cannot talk back, for the emptiness that could house collapse, for every face that could be mistaken. My heart breaks for Virginia. I do not know when it will be okay, but I know that we must be here for something. If we place our hands to chest, we'll feel proof that there is love, that we are alive, we are still standing.